All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I got a really fun video for you. I got 10 crossovers that the NBA players use that you can add to your game. So I'm going to show you an NBA player using this move, and then I'm going to teach you how you can add it to your game. All right, so the first move we have today is the overhand crossover. Is down by only one. LeBron down the lane, score! Out of Biles doing his best to stay in front, be physical. So as you saw from the video, you saw LeBron, you saw Giannis, you saw Jordan Poole, they all use this move. It's primarily used on a fast break where you're coming at your defender. You don't have time to stop and then make a cross like this. You're going full speed, so you're catching the ball here, you're pushing it across your body, and you're going right beside your defender. So to practice this is you want to get a little space, you want to pound the ball and then push it across your body and go past your defender. It's important you don't carry the ball, so don't get your hand under the ball and move it over. You want to pound it so the ball sticks in your hand, and then you're going to move it over. So one more time, you're coming at your defender, pound it, move it over, go right past your defender. All right, the second move I have for you is the stiff leg or the dead leg. The up hand knocked How about that? How about balls right there? So as you saw from the videos again, you see that sharp cut, and then a dead leg, and then it pulls it back. The idea for this is you're attacking your defender, they're moving back, you're stopping, pulling the ball back, and now you have some space to make your shot. So it's a hard, hard jab, pull it back, make your shot. All right, the next move is the in and out. So again, as you saw from the video, the in and out move is very popular and very useful too. So what happens is the defender comes, you're going to fake your crossover, and then you're going to bring it back. So if you remember that overhand crossover, you're going to fake that, and then you're bringing the ball back. Your objective is you want to get your defender moving that way so you can bring the ball back, create the space, and make the shot. So again, you're going to want to pound the ball in your hand, move it, bring it back. So pound the ball in your hand, move it, bring it back. Don't get your hand underneath the ball. Keep it on top of the ball, and then as you move it, you're going to push it back. One more time, move it, push it back, create that space to make your shot. All right, the next move is the power stop. Indiana's four of five from long range. Durant's got 11. Craig goes down. And about scored the Nuggets by 17. Shea dismisses. Now it's Russell. Drive it on Conley. Stops. Oh! So as you saw, KD will use this move to attack his defender, either right side or left side. He'll power stop or jump stop behind the back, takes the shot. It looks like this. So he's attacking, I'll go slow motion, jump stop, creates the space, makes a shot. As he's attacking, once he jump stops, his defender is still going that way. So he jump stops and stops in place. Defender keeps moving that way, he creates a space. Now he's got five or six feet to make a shot. So to practice this, you'll wanna go fast, jump stop, behind the back, make your shot. Important when you're doing this, you almost want to hit your leg with the ball and your legs are going to move out of the way. So I'm going this way, boom. See how my legs move out of the way? This way, boom. Now I can stop on a dime behind the back, get into my shot. All right, so the next one is the between the legs. But it's not just a normal between the legs. It's a change of speed with the between the legs. Lead back to five after the maps. Drew to within a point at 70 to 69. Iso on the right side of the floor. Oh, nice dribble drive. Luca beats it. Stop it. Don't you do that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's how you put your man on skates, Clark. So as you saw, Luca does this unbelievably well. He'll break down his defender, get them in a rhythm, and then he'll quickly change his speed, and he'll go. So he might dribble, dribble, as you saw in the video. He'll dribble, change his speed, and then he goes. He gets that defender's rhythm to break. And then he goes between the legs and he can beat them. So how, you, how do you work on this? As you do your dribbling drills, I want you to, to do your drills, but then change your speed. Don't always dribble at the same speed. You want to break the rhythm of the defender. So you might go between the legs, and then you can explode between the legs. If you could just take a second, scroll down a little bit below this video, hit that little subscribe button, give that a thumbs up. That would help me out a lot. That would show me that you appreciate the content. You want to hear more. And that would just mean a lot to me. So if you could just hit that little subscribe, that would be wonderful. All right, the next one 
is going to be the double crossover. Seven rebounds, five assists. In fact, he has more assists. LeBron James has arrived. The king. All right, so as you saw, LeBron likes this move a lot. He'll come down the court, as you saw from the video, and he'll double cross and then he'll go. The objective is that first cross, you're getting your defender to move. So you're getting a move here and then you come back. And now your defender's over here and you make that quick second crossover back. They can't recover and you can attack. So as you do your drills, throw in a double cross. Boom, boom, boom. Take it easy. Boom, boom. Use that double cross. Now your defender's guessing. That first cross, I might go. Or I'm coming back for that double cross. All right, so the next move is the killer crossover. Iverson has Jordan. The crowd is into it. Allen Shane Gray gets two. Now well, the crowd loves that. Take a look at the crossover. Mike said no. Allen said yes. The bucket, the crowd loves it. Nice move by Allen Iverson. All right, so as you saw, Allen Iverson just completely dominated the NBA with this move. And as you saw, he'll make a big step this way. He brings the ball out, around, and crosses over. You see how much space he creates? His defender is for sure thinking, I'm going this way. I have to cut the ball off. So as I'm going here, the defender jumps, he has to cut the ball, and then I'm swinging back around here. So how, is it, how do you do it? If you notice, my hand stays on top of the ball. It pushes out, and then it swings it around. So it's gonna push it out, swing it around. It's, the ball is gonna move in a C. So here, out, and around. So I step, come across. The defender is guessing that way, I'm coming back this way. All right, the next one is one that Steph Curry completely dominates with. Curry, all oh, pretty fake, pulls up. So as you saw from the video, Steph Curry can pull up anywhere on the court and he's got a quick release so he can get his shot off really quickly. So he can come down and he can fake like he's gonna shoot. His defender is going to try to contest his shot and he can cross over underneath him and get a wide open shot. So to work on this, get the ball in your hand, take a hard dribble one way, go up to shoot, cross over. So watch my hand is coming up. The defender thinks I'm gonna grab the ball and shoot it, but instead I'm gonna cross over below my hand, come back this way, and now I have a wide open shot. And it can go, you can go either way with this. I can go this way, come up, cross over, or I can go to my off hand, Come up, fake, cross over, and now I have my shot. All right, the next move is the wrap around behind the back. Recovered by Eubanks. Mm. Simon's behind the back, into oh, the lane, oh. avoids Simon. Comes down to a few possessions. That's really fancy from Anthony. All right, so this move is mostly used when you're on a fast break or in transition. When you're going full steam ahead, you can wrap around your body, you can keep going. Your defender's guessing and trying to take the ball this way so I can wrap it around and keep going right past him. It's still a little different from the power stop because the power stop is straight across. This one, you're going to attack and you're going to wrap it around so you can keep going forward. So it looks like this. If I, if I show you from behind here, the ball is going to wrap all the way around and then I'm going to dribble it on my left side. Or you can go left hand to right hand. But you're going to attack, wrap it around, and keep going. So it looks like this too. You can attack here, wrap it around, and now it can go back this way. All right, so for the last crossover of the day, it's kind of a trick for you. It's the fake crossover. For the first time, it's not played much in the playoffs, and during it just six games. Oh, the move by Curry! So as you've broken down your defender, they know you have that killer crossover move. They know you can, you're shifty and you can get right around them. Hit them with the fake crossover, and now you open up the attack on the other side. So the fake crossover, you come and you're going to fake like you're going to cross and then you're going to go. It's almost like a hezzy or a hesitation move. So remember your other crossover, you're coming here, you're crossing over. Now I'm coming here and I'm faking and then I go. Watch your defender. See if they're eager to jump and try to stop the crossover. And if they are, you just fake, then you go. Important, can't hold the ball underneath it. So you want to pound the ball so it sticks in your hand and then you can go. So get your defender off balance, come here, hit fake, and then you go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Put in the comments which one you want to add to your game, which one was something that you can use to help your team out, to help you get better shots, to help you create that space from your defender. Again, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. That would help me out a lot. That would let me know again that you appreciate this content 
that is helping you out. It's improving your game. And also check out our last video. It'll be over here and stay tuned for more.